I'm a bit of a problem. At least that's what I'm hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. And yeah, it seems like a character by the name of Jack has run a bit of a rampage here on Zoe. Last time we got to know the Mink tribe pretty well, and they, they're pretty big fans of the Straw Hats. Not necessarily because they're the Straw Hats, but it's probably the impression Nami and all of them made initially. But apparently not all has gone that well because Sanji, Brooke, and Momo, and Caesar are nowhere to be found. You gotta hop right into these. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Oh no. Uh, dude, I saw the leg. I was like, it's gonna be freaking get him on and Conjuro again. Sure. Dude, the cat is still there. It's just like faded a bit. Dude, surely this isn't just another bit and they just fall again. They didn't realize they were at the bottom? You guys honestly may as well just take five and just chill for a bit. Maybe draw a bird instead. This cat is not making it all the way up to the top. It's it's literally fading away. Dude, it's it's pain. Existence is pain for Conjuro's creations. You think that thing's making it all the way up? It's still going? Oh my gosh. Yep, that's, that's about expected. They're gonna stop for the night. Oh my gosh. They are never making it to Zoe, bro. I guarantee we're gonna go through whatever we go through here and Kinemon and Gondra will not be a part of it. Dude. Oh, it's like a ram. I don't think it's a sheep. Are they the same thing? No, no, they're, they're different. I think it's a sheep. So we're just gonna skip over what she told them about Sanji? What about the others? Guys, it's not banquet time. We just got here. They really like, like, regular skin, like human skin, like rubbing up against it. So that's why, like, Wanda licked, licked, licked Luffy and uh, Carrot, like, bit him. He's like, if, you, if they want to lick you, let them lick you. These cultural differences. Minkship. Is that what they call licking? Hmm. I wish Chopper can relate to them. Other animals. This is a new soundtrack. There's been a couple new soundtracks in Zo. At least they're all very nice. It's refreshing getting somewhere and people actually like us. Hippo. So they're eating other animals? Are they like chill about it? Ah. Our savior's friends. Oh. oh. What? Brooke! Wait, what? Oh my god, he's like tattered. What happened? Oh! Wait, what happened? Dude, explain! Yeah, where's Momo and Caesar? Oh. He's okay? Oh, he's racist. Shuts himself in a... Oh, so he's here. Momo's here too. What about Caesar? Does this have to do with uh, a freaking Sanji's bounty poster? I forgot his was different. Oh, it said alive, not dead. It said only alive. And then there was something else about it, I think. <laughs> Kinemon is not here yet. Try not to use words like samurai. Wait, why? Oh, shoot. So minks do not like people from Wano or samurai in general? country was actually what was what oh what what is this what brooke was running from are those minks baron corpse that is what wanna call a corpse right yeah wait i was right i was right i knew it let's go good job jack with affection did, yeah why did she say it like that bro dude it's 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 getting strange a tempting race so don't answer them like that they're like oh my gosh there's no way they're like obsessed with him it's like uncomfortably erotic she's blushing bro poor brooke no you explain first chopper where the hell is sanji ah, what do you mean i don't even know what's going on Oh, he left a note. Wait, what? Didn't look right. Well, we know they all made it here together. 
Yeah, bro. We don't even know how you got away from that, man. And that was like 60, 70 episodes ago. Like an absurd amount. Maybe even more. Oh, shoot. Is it time? Oh, so it was 11 days ago. Okay, okay. I like knowing the timeline of things. <laughs> Poor Brooke. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we cut away for like 70 episodes. I cannot believe we're finally back and we finally get to see what happened. This is incredible. So was Big Mom on the ship? They knew that Caesar would be there. Baron Tamago. Oh yeah, Capone. Wait, no, they did say he was working for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's cool, man. So Capone, yeah, we knew Capone was working for Big Mom. That is an interesting kind of pair up. No chance to get away from them. Did Sanji just like sacrifice himself and go with them? With Caesar? But if anything, they only wanted Caesar. They would have given up Caesar and then they would have just left fine. But they would have had to or else Sunny would have been destroyed. Did they even stand a remote chance? I like this concept though of like people from the worst generation realizing how but what what was that ship? Realizing how bad the new world was and having to work under the emperors like this. Like X Drake under Kaido, um freaking gang Capone under Big Mom. Like it's cool. It shows how bad it is here, how rough it is, how brutal it is. They can't stand on their own here. Another idea. Like I said, did he just take Caesar there? He realized the others wouldn't make it out alive. Oh no, he straight up, they straight up fought back. Oh my gosh, man. Soul Parade? Damn, Brooke. I like like the, the theme around ice with Brooke. I mean, I guess they could defend Sunny to an extent. I feel like people from Big Mom ship would have just boarded Sunny. Make him tank all of it? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's creative. What? What? He chucked Caesar! Why would they do that? That's what they want! Oh, then it's gonna like spit out all the balls? Oh! Capone must be a little out of his element. Being shocked by Sanji flying. He hasn't gotten much stronger under Big Mom. Dude, and they're all on fire. Damn, bro, they actually like, fended them off. Oh my gosh. Dog. Wait, did they actually get away? Oh, wait, they did get away because they made it to Zoe. Okay, never mind. No, this makes sense. They actually fended them off, though. They didn't give Caesar up, I don't think. No, they didn't give Caesar up. We saw Caesar on Zoe. I'm stupid. Oh my gosh. Wait, so how did. Wh bro, what happened to Sanji and Caesar? Hatch rain cloud? What? She uses an egg to hatch rain clouds now? Dude, they actually fended off Big Mom's ship. Oh my gosh. That rain looks amazing. Dang, bro. And then they used a smoke to get away. Damn. They're cracked, man. And it's only a couple of the straw hats. Good stuff, guys. So where did it go wrong? I would be, I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know. So then, yeah, they got here. We already knew they got there. I just figured they gave up Caesar to get here. But again, I, I, I forgot we saw Caesar here at Zoe. And then there was an attack here. Dude, did Jack take Sanji and Caesar? Oh my gosh. Am I built that different? Dang, bro. So that's why they like to show hats so much. They stood up. I'm guessing against Jack and helped fend, fend him off. Duke Sama? Dude, spit it out. It was Duke Sama. Guessing one of them that fought in the battle. Damn, it's like Nami and all of them got to know the minx really well. Go, doctor! Miyagi, Tristan, they know him by name and everything. They got their doctor too. 
and learn from you. Yes, sir. Duke Dogstorm? <laughs> that sounds like a superhero name. Oh, Mokomo Dukadom. Oh, he's the ruler of the country? Been in a coma ever since. Oh, she did say that name last time. The other one? Country has two rulers. What? King of the day, Duke Dogstorm. King of the night, Master Cat Viper. Oh, they said Master Cat Viper. Isn't that the leader in the forest? Oh. Day and night, Master Cat Viper and Duke Dogstorm. Interesting. We're learning more about the island. Getting to know it better. So why is she wearing all of Nami's clothes? Just for funsies? Regardless, I like more of the lore and slowly finding out about Sanji and all of them, but I'm very genuinely very impressed they just made it away from Big Mom's ship. Like, what an enormous ship. But, I mean, hey, the Straw Hats have improved. It's not, like, beyond impossibility for them to have done it. And they did, obviously. The question is, bro, what happened after that? 757! Oh, they said day and night. And then she said, be lucky it wasn't, like, under the moonlight. Or, like, some of them werewolves at night. Like, one rules during the night, one rules during the day. Kind of a cool concept. <gasps> Oh, they're their captain. He's back. Beppo. Oh, that's so cute. He's okay. Dude, Beppo's like his dog. <laughs> wow, he's not even taking credit. What are the steps going forward? Like, where do we go from here? <laughs> Where did he get the straw from? I was ready for Wanda to yell at the window like, hey, those those are poisonous. Dude, they still popped off with Nami's outfit. Like, it's, it's actually insane. Don't usually use this place? Oh, they usually live in the city. Oh, but because it was destroyed, they came here. Dude. Oh, it was so prosperous. Oink. <laughs> they had like regular problems like this, like little, little banter and whatnot. Look at the giraffe. Oh my gosh. He's like peeking over. That's cute. Oh, we met this guy. Until, until half a month ago. Wait. Then that would be before Sanji and all of them got there. Dude, this is so confusing! Ah! But no, they did get here because they said Nami and them helped 17 days ago. Wait, so like, did like war just rampage for like a week or so? So it's not Dukedom, it's Dukedom, I think. The raiding bell. What, when there's like attackers? Hmm. Oh my... Oh my gosh. The monkey was like the gatekeeper? Oh, those were destroyed. Those gates at the entrance. Ah, damn. So if this was Jack and them, why did they come here? Like Jack's crew. They said they were looking for someone whenever he was torturing people. That is Jack, right? Dude, if it's him, I, I want to see him, man. It's teased me so hard for way too long. Man, this place was so nice. Oh my god. That's what left the footprints? Oh my gosh. He just rampaged. Oh shoot. Is that Jack? And it's teasing me. Milky? Zunisha. Is Zunisha the name of the elephant? Oh shoot. It knows when something's going down. Wants something we don't have. And it was whoever they were looking for. That looks like an elephant's like, do they have their own elephant? Like a trunk, a schnoz. Oh, wait, wait it is a schnoz. Oh, that's what made the footsteps. Oh my gosh. How did they get that up there? What? How is that possible? It climbed the elephant? What's oh, a mammoth? A mammoth climbed an elephant? Warrior from the land of water named Rizo. Oh wait, Rizo was the ninja that Kinemon was coming looking for, I think. I'm pretty sure. And he said he's here. Wait, that's the guy Sanji and them fought. Is that Jack? Is Jack a mammoth? Dude, dude. 
No way. Am I that cool? Yeah, that is the two, the duo that the, the, they fought, that Sanji and them fought. Is that Jack? I, he's got like hair and stuff. And I think he's the one that spoke. Emperor Kaido's right hand man. Three henchmen are called disasters. That's Jack! Jack the Trout! Kaido's right hand man! So is that Kaido's like Jolly Roger? Sheep's head, the headliner of the gifters. So there's three like main right hand men headliners. Interesting, interesting. Dude, let's go! I'm a high elite, baby! Okay, so what would Kaido's right hand man come here looking for? Oh my gosh. They tried to reason with them. Mm, yeah, what were they supposed to do? Jackson, dude, this is so weird. <laughs> That's me, baby. I'm a mammoth. Raizo. And Kenamon thought Raizo was here. He's the ninja. Dude. Jack's the one that made those footprints, bro. Guys, guys, I swear I'm not like this. I would have mercy on that on the elderly. I swear. He is ruthless though. Jin Rummy? Oh, that's her name. That's right. That's right. Ah, I yeah, I got that right. They did mention he's a ninja. It's a normal term for all kinds of warriors from the land of Wano. So is that why? That's why Brooke warned them to not mention Wano? And they only wanted Raizo. Why? Dude, the plot thickens, baby. Kaido is three headliners. Jack's one of them. He apparently is right-hand man, but there's two others. So, like, do they all share that sort of title? Can I be the best, please? Yeah. Starting to make a little bit more sense, but them going after Raizo makes way less sense. Kaido sending someone here, like, to maybe look for, like, Luffy or Law would make sense because of what happened with Doflamingo. But why would they be after Raizo? I figured if they were looking for, like, Luffy or Law, they'd be, it's because he's pissed about what happened to Dressrosa. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. So his subordinates are called pleasures? Sorry, my subordinates? So all the animals have like this lightning ability. That is kind of sick, actually. Oh my gosh. Is that just innate? Thus began, I'm guessing, like a, a, a small war slash battle here over the next couple days. And and Sanji and all of them helped. But this still doesn't answer the question of what happened to Sanji and Caesar, though. They realized they had the ability to fight back. This one kid inspired them. I mean, I'm kind of low-key surprised. Jack and his his these other two subordinate subordinates must be insanely strong. Because I mean They clearly defeated this kingdom of the Minx, despite how strong they all are and like how much of a fight they put up with this like lightning ability. <laughs> I must be quite the force to be reckoned with. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, look at him, man! Jin Rummy, I forgot that guy's name already. I'm sorry. And Jack. Yeah, they're called. Yeah. Even a baby knows how to defend himself. I mean, this kid did it. Did he actually fight everyone here? Highly trained musketeers. The gunmen? Mm. I'm guessing he tricked them. Asked for a talk with what was a Duke Dogstorm and then, like, bodied him. And that's why he's been in, like, a coma. Oh, no, he didn't. Gifters? So there's pleasures and then there's gifters? Oh. Gift, okay. This is like his next line. That guy had like lobster claws? Oh, they're all like like half-breeds. But what was their obsession with, with Rizo, man? Pleasures and then gifters. <laughs> Strange. Damn. Well, that answers the question about the war. But then they dipped and went to Doflamingo's ship. And him going out to Doflamingo makes more sense if he's Kaido's right-hand man that Kaido would want to see Doflamingo, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It still doesn't make sense, though. I'm so confused. I hate being out of the loop. Yeah, that was, that was a good question, Usopp. Good question. We also don't know how they got to this island. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro. Warmoth made them think the samurai was here. So many questions, bro. We would need Kinemon. Kinemon could explain things. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
I want to meet the Duke, Luffy. Come on. This didn't happen in the manga, did it? <laughs> yeah, they're like scarred of the name Wano and Samurai. They assume that they... It, yeah, okay, so they see Momo or like Kinemon, then they would hate him right away. Yeah, they just associate it with Jack hunting down the guy from Wano. <laughs> Oh, wait, what is Wanda, Wanda going to think? Huh? They have to be honest with her, though. Wanda and the Minx have been so welcoming and so nice. I mean, regardless, Sanji and them helped fend off, I'm guessing, Jack and all these people. But, like, they, they need to be straight up about what's going on because they're not bad people. They're not here with bad intentions. So what's the point of lying to her withholding information? If anything, this is actually probably best case scenario. It's probably a good thing Luffy did this because it breaks down this wall of information and we can know the full picture and Wanda can know the full picture. Because I, I would assume Raizo is here. Kinemon seems pretty confident in that. And like, why would he think he's here for no reason, right? But yeah, this opens up so many more questions. What happened with Jack and all them when they left here and went to the ship with Doflamingo and like what went down there? Why are they even after this guy from Wano? What does Kaido even think about Doflamingo right now in that entire situation? And then what happened to Sanji? It's like a million questions and I love it, dude. So much mystery. I mean, that on top of the fact that we're here on a new island, meeting new characters, meeting new people. It's, it's the best part about One Piece, bro. It just keeps stacking on all this stuff that we know about the world and then, and then adding new information and new characters. It's so good. It just keeps me guessing. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a like on this one and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.